writing equations to describe patterns. In this example, we're going to compare the number of tables, T, to the number of chairs, C. The number of tables will be our X, and the number of chairs will be our Y. If we have one table, we're going to have one, two, three, and four chairs. If we have two tables, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six chairs. And if we have three tables, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight chairs. Question number one, what is the increase in the number of chairs each time a table is added? We're adding one table each time, and every time we add a table, we're adding two chairs each time. So the number of chairs added each time a table is added is going to be plus two. Question number two, what is the total number of chairs if there are four tables? If we add one more table, we're going to add two more chairs and eight plus two is going to be 10. So with four tables, there will be 10 chairs. What is the total number of chairs if there are five tables? If we add one more table, we're going to add two more chairs. And 10 plus two is equal to 12. So there will be now 12 chairs. So for five tables, we will have 12 chairs. What is the total number of chairs if there are seven tables? If there were to be six tables, we would add two chairs and have 14 chairs. So seven tables would be two more than 14, which is 16 chairs. So the total number of chairs if there are seven tables would be 16 chairs. Number three. What is the formula to determine the number of chairs for any given number of tables? We'll start by finding the numerical coefficient, which is the change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y is going to be plus two, and the change in x is going to be plus one. And two divided by one is equal to two. So the numerical coefficient will be two. So our formula will be c, number of chairs, is equal to 2 times the number of tables, plus or minus the constant. To find the constant, we'll plug in the first set of data. We'll put 4 where the c is, and 1 where the t is. 2 times 1 is 2, and to get from 2 to 4, to equal it out, we'll have to add 2 more. Therefore, the constant will have to be plus 2. What is the number of people if there are 25 tables? Start by writing the equation. C is equal to two times T plus two. 
Step two, insert what you know. We know that there are 25 tables. So the number of chairs is what we don't know. So C is equal to two times 25 plus two. Two times 25 is 50. And 50 plus two is going to be 52. So there will be 52 chairs for 52 people. Number five, how many tables are there if there are 32 chairs? Step one, write the equation. C is equal to two times T plus two. Step two, insert what you know. We know that there are 32 chairs. So it will be 32 is equal to two times T plus two. Then we're gonna solve using bed mass. We're gonna remove two from both sides. So 32 minus two is 30, and two T plus two minus two is just gonna be equal to 2t. Next, to remove the 2 multiplied by t, we'll have to divide that by t, by 2, sorry. So 2t divided by 2, do that to both sides. 2t divided by 2 and 30 divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, and 2t divided by 2 is t. So the number of tables will be 15.